Here's a weird little piece of Disney history for you. Once Upon a Halloween is a surprisingly rare Disney creation. Hell, it's not even on Disney Plus, and these guys love to milk their old established franchises. But what the heck is it? Oh my god, what is that? Well, basically, it's a 2005 clip show from a bunch of Disney movies, masquerading as a full movie in its own right. Let's begin. Once upon the Halloween, there was a vile and evil queen. The evil queen from Snow White takes a potion to become the old lady version from the film, told in storybook illustrations. Then we cut to this CG cauldron room, which is where the rest of the actual plot takes place. At midnight tonight, you see, it will be Halloween, the very time when all of my dark powers are at their strongest. Interestingly though, we never see her 3D model, probably because this was made with basically no budget, and that's apparent almost immediately. But old Granny is not so arrogant as to think she can attain this goal on her own. Oh no! We must find allies to join us in this struggle. The witch plans to summon a bunch of villains to help her take over Halloween, and calls for the help of the cauldron from the Black Cauldron. Long ago, a group of adventurers were searching for the all-powerful Black Cauldron. This is likely so they could explain the plot of the Black Cauldron to the huge amounts of people who never saw the Black Cauldron. Yes, that is the solution! I will join with the other villains to make Halloween my own! It is within me that all dark things reside. All dark things? Certainly there isn't room. You have no idea. True, and neither do I care. The Cauldron takes the witch through different villains from Disney history. The first clip is from a classic Donald Duck short showcasing, and I quote, the oldest villain of them all, Pete. The oldest villain of them all. Will he heed your corruptive call? Or before there was Goofy Donald or Mickey, Peg Leg Pete made survival quite tricky. It's cool to see him in some of the old classic Disney shorts. Although, choosing an episode where he's called Tiny Tom is weird. I remember that confusing me as a kid. I could have sworn you said his name was Pete. This is Tiny Tom. Who? Oh! Anyway, the two discuss evil laughs, and the Queen notices herself in the vision. Just a collection of Disney villains laughing. Uh, and it's clear that the cauldron is planning something behind the Queen's back. But I want to talk about the laughing clip for a bit because it uses music which I'm almost certain is from Twisted Metal Black, which explains why I found the music absolutely terrifying as a kid. Like seriously, the music here is used to show people laughing. And it's used for scenes like this in Twisted Metal Black. I wanted to become the best killer there ever was. When I killed, everyone would know it was me. But for real, they sound exactly the same, right? There are clips from The Little Mermaid, Peter Pan, and The Emperor's New Groove, pretty strong choices. And then we get to the only original song for this film, about the virtues of sidekicks and henchmen. I caution you, my queen, never underestimate the value of such aid. And you know what? It's kind of fun. That's who get you the prize. They'll be your ears and eyes if ever trouble should arise. I think the singing voice is a bit weird because it's doing a load of different voices, but it's a nice addition to the special, and I'll link the song in the description if you want to give it a listen. Then the cauldron makes a comment that sometimes henchmen make things worse. I have to admit that having a henchman whose moat doesn't quite circle the castle can be frustrating. And they use a clip from Basil the Great Mouse Detective to show this. Again, an awesome choice from an underrated Disney movie. Seriously, you should watch this if you haven't already. Vincent Price is a villainous rat. Worth checking out just for his performance. It's sublime. Poor Basil. Oh, he is in for a little surprise. Surprise! I want to point out here and now, by the way, that the cauldron sass is pretty top tier. Is there anything more laughable than great suffering, Cauldron? Your plans, dear Queen. What? 
Oh, nothing. These segments with the Queen and the Cauldron are what we call in the storytelling business a bridging narrative. And it's cool to see, even if it is very basic. Then, for some reason, we see a clip from Home on the Range. You know, Home on the Range, the seminal Disney classic. <coughs> At least the scene they use is funny. Like, seriously, I remember my brother and I used to laugh our little bottoms off at this part. <sighs> uh, Gil? Uh-huh? Am I correct in assuming that each and every time we brought a herd back to this secret lair, you managed to sit in the exact same spot, blocking that choice piece of property from my view? This is my comfy place. What? Finally, we get some plot progress, and again, I'm using plot in the loosest sense possible, as the Queen declares that she will not team up with one villain, but with all of them! If you haven't clocked the twist yet, I won't spoil, but the Cauldron drops another big hint by talking about the villain from the Black Cauldron. I can show you another powerful villain who tried to use a magic cauldron to a disastrous end. See, this movie gets a full narration during its clip because statistically nobody saw this dud. Long ago, in the kingdom of Pridain, there was an evil horned king. Put a sock in it. No one cares. Look, the cauldron explains that the horny king or whatever used the cauldron, but he lost in the end and he got like eaten by the cauldron or something. I don't know, this movie was weird. Why is this the movie that gets two extended clips and a full plot synopsis? <laughs> Fucking she anyway, the queen is just like, stop the cap. <laughs> Foolishness, ignorance, cowardice. I've never heard anything so ridiculous. Everyone knows that story is pure myth. A tale told to scare little witches at night. And finally declares upon the stroke of midnight on Halloween to join forces with the villains. The cauldron drops another final hint that this is a bad idea, but she's not asked and she demands it. Yes, my queen, but one final word of caution. The consequences are yours. Don't to care. Do it don't care. For all eternity. Still don't care. And this leads to the final clip segment. All bad things must come to an end. A bunch of Disney villains eating shit and die. What is this I have seen? It can't be possible. All these villains vanquished and condemned within your depths. Yes, my queen. And now you must join them. Our final scene is the queen getting sucked into the cauldron, with the narrator giving a little ending and a minor cliffhanger. A Halloween full of fun, free of fear. Well... At least until next year. But, ladies, gentlemen, and everything in between, that was Once Upon a Halloween. Perfectly fine for Disney brand chills, but not really enough for genuine thrills. But it's certainly cool and a little bit of fun. If you like this video, watch another one. Consider subscribing if you like it here while I work on the Halloween vid for next year. I will never do a rhyming ending again, I promise. Sorry. <laughs>